Hey, this is Chris Allingham with the Virtual Weber Bullet. I'm just getting home from Costco and I picked up a product I wanted to tell you about. It's called uh, Mission Hill Bistro Smoked Sliced Beef Brisket. Now you may remember that some time ago, I guess earlier in 2023, I did a video about the uh, burnt ends version of this product that Mission Hill Bistro sells and is uh, available at Costco. Oftentimes these are both available together at the same time at Costco. And, uh, you know, I think the review of the burnt in product was that I thought it was not really brisket point. It was actually flat. It was cut up into squares and it tasted fine. Uh, the thing I didn't like about it was the um, the instructions for how they wanted you to heat it up. And I'll tell you more about that in a second. This is really the same product, just in a sliced, sliced version, as you can see here on the cover art. And, uh, you know, what's unusual about this is that I'm telling you about this after I've already eaten it. This is the third package of this I've bought. So I guess that's some sort of endorsement, I guess. Um, you know, there are times when I just don't have the the time or the inclination to make brisket and I want to have a brisket sandwich or my wife wants some brisket. So this is something you can pick up at Costco uh, that kind of hits the spot. It's not as good as what you can make at home, but it's pretty good and it does in a pinch. So this sells for um, $12.99 a pound. This is a 1.84 pound package. This was $23.90 at Costco. Um, it is smoked. Uh, it does have kind of a significant smoke ring like you see in the picture here. Although my experience is that the smoke flavor is very mild. It's not very overwhelming, if much at all, to be honest. It does vary a lot from slice to slice. You see perfect slices here. Some are slices with the grain, which is not ideal, while some are sliced across the grain, which is better. Some of the slices are very tender, some of them not quite as much. So there's a lot of variation, but of course you make your own brisket in the Smoky Mountain Cooker, you're gonna have variation too from one part of the brisket to another. So some variation is to be expected, I guess. Uh, the taste is good. I think, as I said, it does well in a pinch. The thing I don't care for is really the, the heating instructions. And these are the same as they were on the previous product. And I'll just describe it to you. Two versions are available here. One is a microwave heating version, which is the one that I use and that I'd recommend that you use. And the other is called the stovetop saute version, which really is not that. It's it's a combination of microwaving and stovetop. And the microwave instructions are very, very simple. They want you to cut a slit in the uh, plastic package, microwave on high for two and a half minutes, remove it from the uh, microwave, carefully separate the slices, return the pouch to the microwave for another two and a half minutes, carefully remove, remove the brisket from the pouch and serve it with your favorite barbecue sauce. Uh, my suggestion would be maybe do the first two and a half minutes and then, uh, you know, adjust accordingly for the remainder of the time. A total of five might be too much depending on the power of your microwave. So just do it in small increments, maybe 30 seconds or 45 seconds at a time check the temperature, make sure it's okay, make sure you're not actually just destroying it in the microwave. The other instructions, which kind of fool people, they think it would be better, is the more complicated one, the stovetop version. But that starts by removing from the packaging and cutting a slit in the pouch and microwaving for two and a half minutes. So you're still at the same point there in the instructions. But then they want you to heat a saute pan on medium heat. They want you to add a tablespoon of oil to the pan. They want you to put the slices in the pan they want you to heat it up for 45 seconds, flip it over another 30 seconds. It just makes a huge mess when you do that. And I noted that in the other video I did on the burnt end version of this product. It just makes a huge mess on your stovetop. And it really does not improve your experience with this product. So my recommendation is just go for the microwave instructions and uh, just be careful that you don't overdo it in the microwave. Now. One of my YouTube uh, viewers said, hey, you know, I bought this seeing that there was a stovetop instruction, but I didn't realize, you know, I didn't look closely enough to see that there's a microwave required even for that. I don't have a microwave. So if you don't have a microwave, I guess my suggestion would be to get a big pot of boiling water and drop the pouch into that and heat it through with hot water to your desired temperature. That'd be the workaround. 
Um, this product is a serving size of three ounces, 120 calories per ounce. And um, again, it's, it's okay for what it is. If you're looking for brisket in a pinch, uh, it will get the job done. And I think you'll enjoy it. The taste is, is good. The uh, smoke ring is usually uh, attractive, uh, but not a ton of smoke flavor. But again, not as good as you can do at home, but in a pinch, this will get the job done for you. So once again, Mission Hill Bistro, smoked sliced beef brisket at Costco, uh, $12.99 a pound. Check it out if you're interested. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you've gotten this far into it, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. It helps other people find my videos. And uh, until next time, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.